We're at Wardown Engineering in Dunstable. Now they've got their first sliding head machine. It's a Citizen L20 Type 8 with LFV. But the reason for this video, throw you in at deep end, Sam. This is your first sliding head machine, is that correct? Yes, this is the first sliding head machine I've ever worked on. How's it been? Um, it's been fairly... It's better than expected. I was, <laughs> you had to pause about that, but okay. I, so, I was expecting it to be harder than it is. Right. Um, but it's fairly straightforward, easy to learn, quick to learn. So you've been, you've been an engineer essentially for four years. What type of machines have you been running before? Um, Fenwick controlled fixed head CNC and manual laves. So quite a big part. change because this is Mitsubishi controls? Yes, this is Mitsubishi controls, um, G-code, all, all that stuff. Okay, all that stuff. But, and so the programming, you've been using Alcart Wizard? Yes, I've been using uh, Citizen's Alcart Wizard. Um, it really helps with understanding how the machine works and how to get it to do what you want it to do. It's, I believe it's good enough that a beginner, anyone who's just walked up to a machine could use it. It's you put, very put people, straightforward. Putting people under pressure there, because I've never programmed, so that's another story. But this machine, obviously you've got the three metre bar feed. Again, this is new to the company, it's our first CNC slider. You're running it 24-7 now? Yep, we're running it 24-7, have been since January this year. Right, how's that been? Oh, it's been lovely. Um, <laughs> nothing beats coming in the morning and half your job's been done for you. Excellent. Getting twice as many parts out a day now. We're finishing a month's supply in less than a week these wow. days. So it's been a lot to get used to, yeah. Okay, and with this programming as well, you've got the LFV control, or the LFV, what does that mean to you guys? Uh, the LFV is a godsend. It's, uh, it really helps with swarf management. Um, right. In the beginning, on the fixed head, we have a lot of problems with swarf bind up, getting in the way of tools, messing with surface finish. The LFV programmable chip size is lovely. If it's too long, you can just change it. It's um, right. And again, you're new to slider, you're new to Mitsubishi controls, you've got the Alcott Wizard. To change that chip control, it's easy to do? Yes, it's uh, exceedingly easy to change. Uh, like I say, the Alcott Wizard helps you with almost everything on the software side of things. Brilliant. So at the moment, well, so far you're enjoying using the machine? Oh yes. Absolutely love it. Now, three metre bar feed, you're doing, this is the L20, it will go up to a larger diameter though? Yes, we've got the expansion kit that Citizen provide that takes the L22 maximum size 25 diameter. Okay, but then in that, in that aspect then, changing the bar over, is it easy to change a bar with these machines? Yeah, it's, um, at, le at maximum two hours work to change yeah. from one size to another. So complete, very, very simple. Complete tool change everything. Right, very okay. Easy. Now, the, the components you're making, they are relatively, rel well, no, no, they are relatively simple. Uh, for the mo uh, at the moment, yes, we're mostly running simple parts. Uh, with at the moment, you say? Uh, we're aiming to get more complex parts coming in. Any I'd, I'd like to use the machine to its fullest extent. Right, so at the moment it's sort of only about 60% in terms of complexity of parts. Yeah. And so what, how, do, how does it give you that flexibility then? Tooling, programming? Um, tooling, uh, we've, got, we've got the um, six, uh, four cross-slide power tools, plus the uh, sub-spindle powered tools, all capable of doing um, cross-axis milling as well as turning. Right. So you can get... Any, practically any shape out of the part you want. Uh, you can do etching, engraving along diameters on the faces. It's, um, there's a lot to be used on this machine that we're not quite using as of yet. Uh, yeah, but you, you will be very soon, hopefully. Yes. Okay, so your first experience of a sit and slide net machine, just to finish the video, how, how's it been for you then? Oh, it's been a dream. Uh, I couldn't have imagined it being easier than it is. I was expecting, when they first told me we were getting one, I was expecting a lot of headaches, a lot of stress, but it's honestly, it's probably one of the easier machines I've ever used. 